International Women's Day is 24 hours when we think about the status of women in the world and the progress that we've made so far and the progress that needs to be made to advance the rights and interests of women. And on a personal level, uh, every person, male and female, we owe our lives to women, to our mothers, our grandmothers, to aunts who looked after us, to sisters, uh, and yet uh, throughout history, women have been subject of discrimination and have been denied the same economic benefits and opportunities as men the world over. We often think of these challenges in terms of our personal lives, our family lives, and, and our domestic national policies. But for the United States, women's rights are a foreign policy issue. Women's rights, as my friend Secretary Clinton has said, are human rights. And we cannot accomplish all the things that we want to in this world to make it a better, safer, more prosperous world without the full engagement of women. Today there is still so much work to do. Women are still disproportionately the victims of violence. They're really the source of violence, but they're all, all, often and too often the victims. Women still do not receive the same pay for the same work as men the world over and are often denied economic opportunity. If women could be given the same economic opportunities, the same jobs, the same chances that men have in this world, that would unleash economic force which is um, as great as adding two more new Chinas. That is the opportunity that we've deprived all of ourselves of. So women's rights are not only the right thing to do, they're the smart thing to do. In this, this day, uh, it's good for us to assess and to think about what we can do better. But the most important thing is not what we do today, but what we do in the 364 other days, 24 hours a day, to advance the rights of women. I know that I and my colleagues here in the State Department, our Secretary Clinton, uh, we're going to commit every single day to this work. It's a core of what we do. And I ask all of us to do the same, to challenge ourselves in our home, in our community, and with our governments, to seek fair treatment for women, protection of women against violence, laws that treat all people equally, regardless of gender, and to make this the world that we all want our daughters and sons to grow up in. Thank you.